My name is Hector Parra. I am a Catalan composer living in Paris since 2002. Um, I work uh, quite a lot uh, the electronics since I was here at IRCAM. And time ago, I worked also a lot the piano. I, I am pianist and, and the bass. In February uh, 2016, I was at the, at the jury of the Concours International de Piano d'Orléans which is maybe the, the most important piano competition uh, based on the contemporary music and music of the 20th century written for the piano. And it was an amazing experience because then I realized the, the immense and powerful uh, experience for all the, uh, the participants and for also all the musicians that came to the jury and to the public to experiment this extremely powerful fusion between the early 20th century piano music, Ravel, Debussy, Scriabin, and the, the, the second half of the 20th century, Stockhausen, Boulez, Ligeti, and then the newest pieces premiered also at the competition, so 21st century music. This creates links between the history of piano writing in the last 120 years, so it's really unique. To be at the jury really pushed me to write a special kind of, of music, uh, which is uh, Au Cœur de l'Oblique, uh, the piano etude of 15 minutes long etude that I wrote for, for the competition, inspired of the architect uh, Claude Parent. To build uh, my piano piece for Orléans competition, I had the idea to get closer to Claude Parent because I visited the FRAC in Orléans, uh, the incredible place for contemporary architecture, and they really showed me the maquettes of Claude Parent, of um, a specific project he did for Nevers, a church called Santa Bernadette. That is based on, on, uh, on different ideas. One is the idea of fracture. Um, the church is an hexagon fractured in several dimensions, like this, and then recomposed, and the light enters inside only across these fractures of this geometric structure. Then, with Claude Parent at that time, in the 60s, worked with Paul Virilio in Architecture Principe. It is a movement of, of a new kind of architecture based on in, inclinated planes and not <laughs> horizontal or vertical. So they wanted really to inclinate everything in the, in the architectural world in order to, to get profit from the gravity to push the bodies, to push the, the, the energies of the society and, and, and work with this gravitational force. Finally, the gravity warps space-time and we can understand gravity since Einstein as a force. It's not a force really, it is a, a deformation of a space-time and we are kind of falling down in the space-time, but the floor pushes us up in some way, accelerating in an accelerated way. But um, this Claude Parent, I think, understood very well this and proposed a new kind of gravity that played with that and, and, and eliminate the, the brutality of, of, in terms of circulation, uh, these frontiers created by skyscrapers, by the total absence of ramps, of inclinated planes in, 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 in the modern cities. So this piece, I... I had the idea to inspirate, uh, so the instrument, the, 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 the grand piano is also a, a kind of architecture. It's a very complex architecture of sound. Um, so the idea was, like Claude Parent, to get the energy from geology. Geology has inclinated planes. Um, the faults in geology can be synclinal, anticlinal, uh, and, and, and these faults are never never flat, are always inclinated. So uh, the, the same idea I get from the piano. We can, we can see the piano as a very uh, flat uh, structure, the keyboard, and then the, the harp and, and the strings are a kind of hidden, hidden part of the piano. But in that piece, I try to, to get first the sound from, from this other parts of the piano, a kind of geology. So this is this is the force of nature in some way. This this geology is is, 
um, is brutal. The strings are two, three meter, meter long strings vibrate in a very visual way. No? Uh, little by little, the piece starts activating this. Then, articulating this still, but the hands are not used in, in, in the way of, of a classic pianist. Or, uh, we are still animals, we are still brutal beings at the beginning of the piece. But very expressive, very um, geologic in some way, very, very physical. Then the piece uh, passes through through the keyboard, but uh, still, still with these geological movements of folds that that uh, that activate uh, the third pedal sometimes that makes this vibration. We start to activate the keyboard, but not yet with the fingers. And the fingers, the fingers emerges later, uh, but with this very mechanic and a little bit like a skyscrapers, uh, uh, skyscrapers structures, very mechanic, repetitive, and vertical, verticalized in some way. So it's a little bit the critics that Claude Parrain make to the to, to, to the architecture of the 20th century. This verticalization, homogenization and brutality finally is a psychological brutality. So the first part of the piece uh, finishes with this material, very long sequences of fast notes, but without really a neener structure beyond uh, simple uh, cells, of repeated cells. The second part of the piece it's a little bit in, directly inspired from Chapelle Sainte Bernadette uh, structure, this, this fracture, this inclination of two planes that collide in the center, and, and this brutal, um, uh, with Paul Virilio, the, the bunkerization of the church is a bunker. Uh, Paul Virilio studied the bunkers after the Second World War in the north uh, coast of France. How the bunkers then were degraded by by geology, by, by, by weather, and were lost inside the beaches in the sun without any reference. So this, this idea also uh, that we have a hard material, the, the second part, starts with a kind of a brutal ritual. And little by little there, the fingers develop really something more, something else. Mixing first geology, so strings, with keyboard, which can be understood as a kind of, of cultural development, refined cultural development, and then until the limit. But Claude Parent, let's say, we, we have seen him talking always about movement. He understood the architecture also in movement. So never the, the, the angles are uh, straight, are, uh, are 90 degrees, always uh, larger angles that create, in fact, that we discover the building little by little that pushes us to really uh, walk around the building and discover the building in movement. The forms of this church are quite simple, quite brutal, quite like a bunker. But when we uh, walk around, we discover that these forms transform progressively in a very uh, um, linear way, in some way, in a very magic way. So in that sense, the piece progresses uh, like waves, more and more uh, strong waves of sound, of pianism sound, until extremely, uh, let's say, pianistic waves of sound. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit like a climax of Claude Parent's thoughts about um, connection, connectivity of, of human beings in a new kind of city, in a new kind of society, produced by these incl inclinated planes, um, terrains, but also connected, the, the, the reconnected uh, city. So in that sense, the piece reconnects keyboard, finally, with a kind of language, of course, that has reminiscence of, of this string percussive language, but is completely uh, pianistic at the end. So this, we can understand these 15 minutes of, of form, like a kind of progression from the geology, brutality, uh, another kind of brutality, of course, in the keyboard, then in the minute five, six, but uh, a kind of repet repetitive verticality. And then after, we go more and more towards uh, a pianistic uh, 
silk uh, wavy language, complete language in itself maybe. And the end finishes with a kind of hyper expression of, of this pianistic language achieved across a, a quite tortuous <laughs> a seek, a seeking. Claude Parent also, if you read his books and his papers and amazing texts, he was a very good writer too. Uh, we see how until what point his thoughts and his life were connected and until what point his thoughts were really worked and, 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 and philosophically linked to, 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 to ideas that, that were quite global, holistic. In that sense, uh, he believed that architecture could transform society. Um, now architects maybe are the younger architects are changed minds and and they really don't believe that maybe architect can change society but but Claude Parent remains a kind of of powerful um, avant-gardist in the 20th century and in that sense this piece be, is my homage to 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 this to this um, exceptional personality of this grandfather now that died only one year ago and that showed us that we have to remain coherent and radical in our ideas too and and that we have to fight to get uh, new stages of, of human development. We don't have to leave, we have to fight to be there, to fight for us, for our ideals and, and in that sense it's a modern figure. and. and and it's completely inspired the, the project in that sense. And also, I think uh, the Orléans competition, piano competition, has also this philosophy behind. Uh, Madame Tina, for example, and now Isabella Vasilotta, uh, has also this radicality behind, and this is a, this force of convic conviction uh, that to 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 f to find more interconnections between modern and future world to the past too. So in that sense, I think the link is clear. <laughs>